Greetings, YouTube. This video, I'm kind of debating whether or not to even take my own advice. If you missed it, I successfully, somehow, hunted for the first time in my career a hunt before round 20 for the new feature. Really before round 15. To say I was literally shocked would be a tremendous understatement. And yet I was. I was tremendously shocked. And so I just got a double up thanks to this month's side quest in how many generic six star awakening gems I have. I also all but guarantee that we will see another one of these in the July 4th weekend sales. This is 1000% what I am hoping to see again. But with that being said, I am going to fight the temptation to see exactly what's available in two days. Really, by the time this gets to my channel in one day, right? Tomorrow. And I waited until the Paragon level up event to make this video. You can see there's four hours left. By the time this hits my channel, I'm gonna be like 16 hours from now. I try to space out videos, give my subscribers something to watch, even if it's only, you know, a five minute video. And so I'm gonna fight the temptation to not, and I mean not, spend it. However, I am hopeful that eventually I'll be rewarded. So we're going to go back to the champions and we're going to take him to what I consider to be the max rank of my own inventory, which is going to wreck my tier four basic. And that is rank three. And I really want to use one of those awakening chips, but I just have to be responsible. I have to do it, YouTube. I have to be responsible. I can't, I can't just uh, recklessly throw an awakening gem at something when we're so close to seeing what the offers are going to be. And you better believe I'm excited to have 60,000 units to throw at the offers. I could, in theory, just do that. But I always promise my subscribers that I'm going to do something very important, and that is take the revenue that my channel generates on a, any given month and put it back into the game. Because I can afford to do that because this is not my uh, income that determines if I eat or pay rent or car bill or whatever. No, no, no. That's my quote unquote real paycheck. That is my teaching salary. And I am so thankful for it. Of course, it, it also has benefits, so I have health insurance through that. And, Retirement and all that fun stuff, though I still do a Roth IRA. If you don't know what that is, I would highly recommend you do some research, especially if you're in your like teens, early 20s, shoot even 30s like me. Um, you might be thankful one day that you contributed, and I contributed the max, which is $500 a month. That's financial knowledge you probably didn't ever care to get from this YouTube channel, but I gave it unsolicited because I'm crazy. All right. Well, there you go. Even after that rank up, I still have eight tier five basic in my overflow. As you can see, I'm four tier four basic short. Ruh -ruh. And I have eight tier two alpha as well. So there you go. I also, it's worth noting, I have not um, gone through and done my black ISO market purchases yet and uh, as always take advantage of this super cheap 20% boost I like the tier 1 alpha catalyst swap when I can let's do that and then in theory the best value is this because tier 5 basic are more expensive than tier 2 alpha no matter what metric you're using. I'm going to save the five star shard for the six star shard converter for a 
future six star opening video. The selectors are also solid. I need to do the Brian Grant crystal challenge at some point soon. The million premium shards and uh, to see what happens. All right, I did not use the generic Awakening Gym. I'm tempted. Would you use it if you were me? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.